I'd like to show you how easy it is to install First Class on a Windows system so you can access our email using the software rather than the web interface. The software is much, much better. So what you're going to do to begin with is go over to your web browser. In this case, I'm using uh, Windows 7 and Internet Explorer 8, but it can be a different version of Internet Explorer. It can be a different win a Windows version. It could be Vista or XP. Uh, you could be using Firefox or Opera or Safari. Pretty much it's the same basic process. So we'll go to www.firstclass.com. That's the web address. And when you go there, they always have the latest version of the client software. You'll see here that there's a link right on the left-hand side to download the First Class client software. So go ahead and click on that. And then when the page comes up, what you're going to see, we'll scroll down, down a little bit here, is a list of versions of the software for different operating systems. Here we have our Windows versions. We also have Macintosh and Linux versions. The most recent version, the one that we're interested in, is the US English version, uh, version 10.009 for Windows XP 2000 and Vista. So we'll click on that, and it's asking if we want to run or save this file. If you're using a different web browser, you might want to save it and double click on it. In this case, I'm just going to hit Run because I'm using Internet Explorer, and they make it easy for us. And now it's going to download the software, which may take a little bit of time. So we'll let it take its time. Ah, here we go. Now it's asking if we want to allow the program to make changes to the computer. This allows the installer to run, so we're going to click on yes. And now we just kind of follow along here. We're going to say next and say yes to the license agreement. Next again, so that it's installed for everyone. Next again, as far as where to put it, it might ask you to create a new folder at this point, which you're welcome to do and encouraged to do. Next again, next, and it takes a moment to do its installation. And when that's all done, you click on finish. And what you'll notice is that it, it runs first class, but you also now have a first class icon on your desktop. So you'll see here on my computer, I have mail.watkinson.org. That's our mail computer, our mail server's address. That's not going to be in your computer if you've never installed First Class before. So we'll hit the flippy triangle here under Advanced, and where it says home.fc, you need to replace that with the name of our mail server, mail.watkinson.org. Then click on Save so it'll remember it, and then you can hit the flippy triangle and close that. You should then see mail.watkinson.org, and you'll be able to use your user ID and password to log in. And that's as easy as it is to download and install first class software on a Windows computer. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please remember we can be emailed at tech support, or if you're on campus, you can dial extension 555. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial, and have a great day.